everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on more foam work on this, trying to get up and onto the roof. The conditions today are really nice. It's a good temperature for working. It's just a little bit above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's not that much wind, I and mean, you can see there's a little bit moving around, but it's nowhere like what it's been the past couple days. Uh, and it's been pleasant weather for working. I've got the spray foam over here in the sun oven, trying to keep it warm, because like I said, the air temperature is just around 60 degrees. Uh, in the sun, it feels really nice and comfortable, but in terms of actual air temperature, it's right around the uh, marginal point for spray foam. So I got in this in the uh, solar oven, not closed up or anything, just the doors open, and it's keeping it probably around like 80 or 90 degrees down in there. So it's making an ideal temperature for working here. Uh, I was just about to cut another piece of foam. This one right here is going to go up into that section. I used my measuring tape to measure the gap in here, and it's 75 and a half inches uh, you know, of void that I have to fill. Uh, I wanted to show you guys just a little trick for cutting foam. I'm going to mark it here, 75 and a half inches. I'm just kind of scratching it with this six inch long nail. Marking it there and marking it here, 75 and a half inches. And the way that I make the line is I'm going to remeasure from this other side here. Works out to be about uh, 20 and 3 quarters inches. So I'm going to lock off the tape measure at 20 and 3 quarters inches and use the uh, little edge of the tape measure to just lightly make a scratch down the side while I keep the tape measure on the edge of the piece of foam. Doing it that way gives you a nice straight line. It avoids the need to you know, drop a straight edge or anything like that. And then from there, you can just right down along your line. Work's been going pretty fast today. I'm hoping that I can get the, the this front done and then maybe a bit of the sides. Maybe you can get a window in today and just get as much as I possibly can done so that the next time I come back, which won't be tomorrow because it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, but the next time I come back and I work on this, uh, I can maybe do the entire roof just in one day because I'd love to just peel the tarp off, do the whole roof, and then not have to put the tarp back on again. That's my goal anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching.